So here we have the Mini Cooper hatchback five door. Uh, this is the 1.5 petrol version on an 18 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside you can see as I mentioned already it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So as we approach the back of the car you'll see we've got a 60-40 split folding rear seat and plenty of boot space as well. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see that it's in lovely condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's what we're seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. As you may expect, the seats are as good as new. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, so now they're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter. We've got the speedometer in the middle, and then on the right-hand side, the fuel gauge. You can also see in the middle, the total miles on this car are 8,915. The information displayed above that can be changed using buttons on the steering wheel for various different bits of fuel economy information. And if you were to leave it on the digital readout for this speedometer, uh, which is this one here, you'll see, give it a few seconds, and that will take over the majority of that screen, giving you a nice, clear readout. Working our way over into the center console area here, uh, we've got the main uh, media screen for the car. You can see that I'm working my way through the various menus at the moment. All of that is being done using this dial. Uh, so turning that will take us through the options. You can push it down to select things. It also moves to the right, to the left, up and down as well. Uh, you can also access, as you can see, various main menus from here. We're on the main menu at the moment, which is that button. Uh, so for example if we wanted uh, the radio we can go around to radio push the button down and you can see this car's got fm am and dab digital radio if you want to listen to your own music in the car you can do that's under the media section uh, you can do that by plugging in an auxiliary input just here usb at the top here or you can stream music wirelessly via bluetooth audio as well once you pair up your phone and this car's got satellite navigation there's a full video showing this working on our website and on our Facebook page, which is well worth checking out. Working our way down, we have the air conditioning for the car. So temperature is adjusted here. Fan speed on this middle dial. Direction of the air on the left-hand side. Once you're happy with those settings, hit that button to turn the air conditioning on or back off again. This button will recirculate the air that's in the car, which is a great way of uh, heating up or cooling it down quickly, depending on the temperature you've set there, of course. You then have these three tabs. So this one turns off the traction control. This turns off the stop and start. So this car is designed to cut out in traffic when you're stationary to save you fuel. That button turns that system off. And this one stops and starts the engine. Uh, so all you need to do is make sure you have the key in the car with you. Hit that tab to start it, same thing to stop it again. And under that, we've got the auxiliary and USB inputs that I mentioned uh, a, min a moment ago. And under that cap, a 12 volt charging socket. We then have the six-speed manual gearbox and this system here, which we've already been through. All that leads me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.